up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 224 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out while well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch dc nice right hand big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this one these guys throwing early with the right. Just unable to quite find that range. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Right. Nice Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Visibly limping here. Nice shot to the body there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Big kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin has held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Right hand punch from the clinch. Lee's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Beautiful kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, caught the rush with the head kick there. It's a beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big head kick. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Referencing the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him with his hip. Seconds left. Nice punch lands over the top. That was lightning fast, that right in. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he heard about the jab. That was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Massive head kick. Straight punch land. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room kick there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Just missed with the straight left hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Cut. Right on the cut. He's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making his splits, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Nice. Wild swing there. Lance with the right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Landed that overhand right flush. Pretty good right hand. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Right hand there. Slips to avoid that left. Just misses there with the left. Checks the leg kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Liver kick. Nice straight punch. Nice body to the front of the elbow. Nice uppercut. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. 
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them should really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Great punch. Nice right in. Oh, nice. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Sneaky head kick. He lands the right hand. Able to check the high kick. Nice punch land over the top. Nice straight right lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Head kick is blocked. Big head kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh man, head kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Slips the punch. Blocks the shot. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant play. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when the corner thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Ooh, big shot lands. Just missed with the left there. Right under the elbow. The body keep land. Just misses with the straight right. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Powerful leg kick land. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick lands. Coming, it's blocked. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Final seconds of round three. 
Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He's got to put his hip into that kick. Lee gets the tie clinch here, and they separate. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him drive his hand and put his own body with that body. Look at him dig his shin right under his opponent's elbow. That was a nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. One, two there by Lee. Now connects with a right. Oh, he got a real good, too. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch. Oh, 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 he gets back up. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He's been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. Good punch, Lance. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Just misses with that one. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. That's a big strike right there. Big head kick lands. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like a basketball hoop becomes twice in size. This guy today is looking at focus fits in his opponent. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, nice elbow. Ooh, what a punch. Man, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Misses with the left punch there. Oh, big punch land. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, 
Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. at this point in time. You know he's gonna need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You gotta think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. He's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Beautiful body kick. Lee circling to his right. He got the turnover in that kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. The right hand just misses. Oh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Three minutes left. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Effective punch there by Lee. Mixing it all up. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. That was a thudding leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Under two minutes now with which to work. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. with a punch 
there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him for time. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon.